The Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders made program history last night by beating the Red Hawks of Southeast Missouri State and getting their first ever NCAA tournament win. The Islanders quickly left Dayton and then made their way to Birmingham to face number one Alabama, but they didn't leave without sports director Chris Thomas and who joins us now live tonight. So Chris, how has all the, the traveling been going? Hey there, Leslie and Rudy. You know, it's actually nice. You know, when you travel with the team, you actually get to fly private. So, you know, it's like two hours, one hour across country. So it's actually not that bad. You don't have to worry about, you know, flights uh, getting canceled or, you know, changing over at airports. So uh, it's pretty great. I think I've got some left in the gas tank. I hope the Islanders do as well. Saw them on the court uh, this afternoon. But first, let's take a look at the video from last night. It was all smiles at the team hotel after the big win in Dayton, Ohio. Again, cross country. Uh, but hey, there's still now work to do. It was more business back here in Birmingham as a and CC gets set to face number one overall seed Alabama, which is only about 50 minutes away from their campus in Tuscaloosa. So you could argue it would be the biggest upset in the history of the tournament, even bigger than at fellow 16 UMBC over Virginia back in 2018. But the Islanders say they're willing to head out there and at least give it what they've got against the Tide. We know that we're uh, kind of up against it a little bit, but that's why you do this. That's why we play this tournament. Um, you have an opportunity to come um, into what will essentially be a home environment for them and uh, shock the world. So we're excited about the opportunity. I feel like at this point, anybody can beat anybody. Um, we're not really coming here to lose, obviously, and we're uh, actually coming here to shock the world, I would say. Uh, more like Shaka the world if they were to pull off that upset. Now, if you're working tomorrow and not on spring break like the kids, you might have to use that boss button on the March Madness website to watch it. That game will be played at 1.45 in the afternoon and can be seen on CBS. Now, tonight at 10, we'll have more on the top-ranked Tide and Alabama's star freshman Brandon Miller and his thoughts on the Islanders.